Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, Flatfish Fanatic, and welcome to my dining bench. Uh, before we get started, just letting you guys know I got a cold, so I might cough the odd time. Um, today we're going to be ca uh, tying a awesome pattern, probably one of the most popular, well, probably one of the most popular patterns in all of the UK and throughout Europe, uh, and that's the cormorant. Um, you won't see very many uh, competitive fly fishers uh, fly boxes that don't have a cormorant in it. So here we go. It's a super simple fly to tie, really. Um, we're going to start off with some Zemperfly Nano Silk in a 12 watt black. I'm just going to get that started for now, and then I'll explain my materials to you guys. It's uh, like I said, it's a fairly simple fly to tie. So I'm going to be using some, I probably should have prepped myself a bit better, but some uh, Zemperfly Hollow Tinsel in silver for the uh, body. Um, for the rib, I'm going to be using some um, orange flexi floss or silly legs, anything like that for the rib. And then for the wing, some hen's black marabou. That's it. Oh, no, sorry, that's not it. Then some Zemperfly dyed orange um sunburst um goose bias for the for the hot spots so just gonna bring my tying thread to about the tip maybe a little bit past the tip i'm gonna get my span flex and i'm gonna come back to the front keeping a i want to keep a um an even profile so that's why i don't want to tie it into the back and i'm gonna leave a little bit of room at the front there for a uh, wing right so just loosely catch that give that a good pull on two more times and then really crank on that and in open turns all the way back to your tie-in point and I really cranked on that I want that thin right so now I did leave a little bit of a tag out front and I really don't want that there so I'm just gonna grab it with a pair of tweezers pull really hard and cut and then I'll get rid of that Okay, then I'm going to take my Zemperfly Hollow Tinsel. And I tie these in, in silver, gold, uh, green underbody. It all depends. I tie them in many different colors. And that's the cool thing about the Cormorant. You can change these things up so quickly. Um, and they're, like I said, they're fairly simple to tie. So I'm just going to wrap my Silver tinsel, making sure there's no gaps. All the way forward to roughly there. I'm gonna leave about two hook eyes space for my wing. Let's cut that off. Okay, then I'm gonna take my stretch floss and I'm going to really stretch this stuff really want to stretch it just giving it a rib come up to my tie-in my stop point one spined once in front should do actually you know what I'm gonna do a couple more this stretch floss sometimes will slip if if you don't have it tied in right, so just gonna cut that off. And then I'm gonna make sure that I get that little tag end of that stretch floss really tied down really nicely. Because this stuff does have a tendency of wanting to pull out. Now just so you can see, when I hit that with a UV light, it really it's kind of hard for you guys to see it, but maybe it really glows that, that orange so um and i'll use uh this uh chartreuse colored one as well um for a rib i'll use silver rib i'll use gold rib it all depends right so so now i'm going to take a little piece of my hen's marabou and i'm just going to peel off off of this stem probably about maybe the th width of my thumb maybe a bit more than that and just tore that off, off the center stem. I don't want a huge wing here. 
So, and I want these tips because these tips are the, the ones that move the best, right? So I'm just going to control that a bit by just wetting it, just ever so slightly wetting it. And I want it, right now I'm going to do it a little bit past the, the hook. About there is where I want it. So I'm going to pinch my finger, uh, cut it off. Make sure you wax at this point. Definitely want to have good wax on your thread. Otherwise the marabou will have a tendency of pulling out. So now I'm just going to go over with a loose wrap. Come back just a bit. Just make sure that's all tied down nice. Create just a little bit of a head. Make sure that's right on the top. Okay, I'm going to come back to about there. And then I'm going to pinch my marabou right about the length of the hook. Maybe just a little bit past. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to make sure there's none of this stuff up front here. Okay, and then I'm going to take a couple of goose bites. This I'm going to go orange since I've used the orange rib. I'm going to grab my goose bite. Okay, oh, there. and I'm going to tie it in with the wing. I want it going with the, the, the up a bit, not a ton, but I do want it going in that up direction. So, a couple of good turns. See how that looks. So, okay, and I'll tie one in on your guys' side, and then you guys can see exactly the angle that I'm talking about that I want. Okay, so I'm going to tie that in as well. A couple, two, three turns. Make sure the angle is about right, which it is. So I want it to go in just above that, that body. Then I'm going to whip finish. For now, just for a few seconds here, give it a quick two, three turn whip finish. I'm holding really tight. You can see me bending that hook. Okay, I'm holding really tight. I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to grab that goose bite as close as I can to the body and rip that off. But I gotta hold tight, otherwise, you have, can pull these out. Okay, then I'm going to do another whip finish right at the front here. Looking pretty good. Cut that off. Then I'm going to get my little lighter, hold everything out of the way, just give that just a little bit of a warm. Get the stuff out of there. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut my goose bites by about half. I want them straight and I just want a hint of. So there is the finished cormorant. That's it. It's a pretty simple fly to tie. Oh, got a little piece of fluff underneath my uh, goose bite on my side. Let me just lift that up and get that fluff out of there. There we go. There, so now it's... There we go. So that is a uh, cormorant. It's a simple fly. Uh, like I said, I tie them in, in many different colors. I'll have some with, with, sometimes I'll even switch up now and I'll switch up to like a, a bright orange. You do a bright orange head as well, right? I'll put a bright orange, you know, just to show you guys what it looks like. I'm not going to actually do it, but uh, put a, a bright orange head on there. So that's what it would look like roughly, right? So I mean, it all depends what you want. Make these heads a little smaller. This one was a little on the long side, a little on the large side. Came back a little bit, but not a big deal. They all t they all fish, right? Um, I tie fishing flies. I don't tie fancy flies. I don't tie art flies. So it's not who I am. But uh, yeah, so that that's when it's wet. That's what it looks like, just like that. It's nice and thin profile, um, and and they're they're absolutely. Oops, sorry. 
They're absolutely a deadly fly. They really are. They're probably one of the best flies I've ever used. So, alrighty. So yeah, just switch it up with the colors. And uh, like I said, green, uh, green is a really popular pattern as well. Green with uh, again with with uh, green goose by it um, um, cheeks, right? Or uh, uh, going with the um, a gold body of silver rib or red rib or um, red is another good one red and silver with the with the red cheeks or even orange cheeks with the red and silver, um, it's fairly fairly classic, um, but uh, yeah silver body with like a red uh, floss, yeah, yeah using a floss like this as the rib, all right so, all right I hope you guys enjoyed that if you did thumbs up if you've subscribed thank you if you have not please consider doing so and spread the word to all your friends and uh and yeah let's get this uh let's get up to that uh i think we're gonna we're gonna do a small giveaway at 1500 uh, um and then the big giveaway at 2000 subscribers so alrighty, so thailand's everyone